On Fantasy Island was my idea of this country, the United Kingdom, living in a kind of daydream of past imperial greatness, a place which really thinks it's rather more important than the rest of the world sees it. So there was a little bit of a sceptical undertow in that main title. The Human Rights Act stands for a society which I think, without being overdramatic, is a little bit under threat. A country which doesn't distinguish people on grounds of nationality or ethnicity or sexual orientation or gender. A place where everybody can feel at home is a sort of place that embraces a Human Rights Act with certain guarantees that are available to us all. Now that is not a place that is as easily recognised after the Brexit vote than it would have been before. So what's at stake here is a vision of the sort of Britain in which we want to live, especially in the aftermath of Brexit. It becomes important to protect those universal values that we have left and included amongst those, uppermost I'd say, are those values to be found in the Human Rights Act. The book starts by going through some of these fairly big and rather outlandish claims that the common law was this marvellous thing in the past that Europeans should jolly well follow. That the Human Rights Act gives the judges the power to strike down laws, that it can override Parliament. Not true. That the Human Rights Act means that we have to, we in Britain, have to follow whatever the European Court of Human Rights says. Again, not true. That the Human Rights Act is concerned only with bad eggs in society. Again, the facts show this not to be the case. So I do try and take some basic data and I show that how that data undermines assumptions about the Human Rights Act that you read about from the day to day in this or that newspaper. I then support that with a series of chapters about what I call the facts, the basic truths about how the Human Rights Act operates, who's affected by it, how it helps people and so on, and then end with some guesses about the future, which is where my anxieties about our culture come from and my concern that if the Human Rights Act truly is next, then our society is changing fast around us.